What's going on, y'all? So let's What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of The Oval. Listen, like, I just saw something that really just put me in a negative space. Like, for real, for real. Uh, When you think something is really something and it's really not. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. I ain't even gonna try to bring. I, I shouldn't even say nothing in this, cause bitch, I'm I'm in my I'm dead in my feelings right about now. But okay, it is what it is. You know when you think something is some way, one way, and a situation is good or whatever, and then you kind of realize that it ain't okay. And I'm just like, wow. Now I know. But anyway, um, let me get off that. Let me get off that. Let me stop. Let me stop. This ain't what that is. Okay, let's just get into this review. The Oval. Um, this season one, episode 11, the episode before the mid-season finale, A United Front. Let me just tell y'all this. Um, if this episode was like this, I can't wait till the mid-season finale. Because Mama is coming on in season finale. And somebody gonna die on the season finale. Somebody else gonna die on the season finale. And I don't know who it is. And I just wish it was Cal. I really want Cal out of everybody. I want Cal to go so bad. Okay? You know? But let's just start this episode with uh in the last week. Now see last week, you were out here trying to do her job. Let me just say this. I feel for everybody that has to work up in that goddamn White House right about now, okay? In real life and right here. Because listen, because listen, people just trying to do their jobs. They trying to just do their job or whatever. And you got these motherfuckers that come up in there and they are just running havoc, wreaking havoc everywhere, okay? You got hoes coming in and out. You got domestic violence just going up and down the aisles, okay? You know, it's just like, goddamn, bitches running away and shit. You know, you just, you just, it's just it's never, it's not ending. It's not ending, nonstop and all that shit. You got Denise in the car with Yuma, okay? Now listen, Yuma, Yuma, sis, bruh, okay? Listen, from one stud to the next stud, bitch, you had me fucked up when you said, girl, you had a husband. I said, girl, now stop playing. Now stop, me and Denise said, now look at you. <laughs> now you know damn well, you ain't got no husband, okay? Next thing you know, she was trying to touch her, and she was like, look at me in my eyes and tell me that you don't find me attractive. Bitch, I don't find you attractive, okay? That's what it is. And she was like, mm-hmm. So, you know, um, you dropped your wallet from out your, um you know, your coat, and, um, this right here, you left in there that your picture of your wife on your wedding day, okay, so why are you lying, is you out, and you, um, is you, when you coming out, she was like, I'm out, and I'm proud, I said, you and quit lying, then why you lie to her, why you lie to her, okay, why you lie to her, she was like, that's what Denise said, then why you lie, I said, girl, why you lie, you said you had a husband. You couldn't say you had a wife. And then Denise won't give her her goddamn, um, you know, uh, uh, um, wallet back. She like, if you want the wallet, come up in the shop and get it. Okay. Uh, give me my number. I'm gonna give you my number and all this stuff. And I'm just sitting here like, you know what, Denise, you just got your coochie banged out. Okay. And you want it to be banged. Maybe the president, maybe when Veronica said, Veronica, maybe when Victoria said it was nothing but two inches. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's why she need a little bit more because she really don't be feeling shit. She just in it because of the power and the statue and who it is. That's probably why and what she probably getting that up because I'm pretty sure he giving her some money to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I was a little concerned. I said, Yuma, don't do it. Yuma, don't do it. She gave her her wallet back and she was like, come on in the shop. You know where to find me. She looking at her in the shop. Yuma looking like, damn, I'm tempted. Should I, should I? You know what I'm saying? She is looking good. Them eyes kind of got me or whatever but then again my wife at home and you know I don't want to put her through that you know she put up on my shit my late nights you know coming home gotta take care of other folks and then you know breaking promises because I can't do certain stuff with her because I gotta do stuff over here at the White House and all this shit but then again she look good as shit right up there you know titties popping and everything but then there's my wife I really do love her and she's stuck by my side you know what I'm turning this con I'm gonna go I said thank you Yuma Thank you, Yuma. Yuma thought about all of that shit. I said I could saw the wheels just turning in her head. Because I probably would have said, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Fuck it, bitch. Then you got goddamn Richard, okay? 
Richard and went home. He didn't park behind Barry's car, which is the blue car that is on that um, flyer that he got from the protest. Baby, he looked at the car on the passenger side and there was a bullet hole in the car. I said, oh, Lord. So, Barry, we already know. He come in the house and he trying to get Nancy to give him where, where the car keys at, where the um, spare keys at. Because I need to move Barry's car, okay? She was like, where you going? He was like, I need to make a run or something. But why you need Barry's car? Listen, girl, I just need to tell you something, okay? Okay, since you breathe it down my back. Barry was in the car, he had a gun, and it was the bullet that shot and killed that man, that pastor, look, that deacon. And she was like, uh-uh, he did what? He did what? What happened? No, we got to go down to the cops. We got to tell the police. We got to turn him in because he committed a crime, okay? We can't cover it up. That's a crime also. Girl, do you know I was sitting here like, so you just going to turn your son in like that? I tell you about these new age Christians, girl. Uh, not these old school Christians, girl. I tell you, oh, Lord Jesus, because I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. If I feel like, you know, would you turn your kid in? I understand that he committed a crime, but he didn't know what he was doing. Crap, truth be told, he had an unregistered gun, so he can go to jail for that. And then he shot a bullet and didn't know where it went. It kind of ricocheted. That's how y'all, uh, that be scaring me when I be seeing people be shooting bullets uh, uh, up in the sky or whatever. Y'all know that them bullets have to come back down, right? They can come back down on somebody and hurt them. You know what I'm saying? A random person that you did not even intend to be the target. Yeah, don't be doing that shit. That's why y'all be killing me when y'all do that shit on New Year's and 4th of July. Be shooting bullets every time. Or when somebody win a championship, it kills me each and every time. Girl, I said, Nancy, you really finna turn your son in? Richard, on the other hand, trying to protect her son, um, the son, she was like, no, um... You're not going to do this. But Richard said, give me them goddamn keys and I'm going to move the car, okay? Meanwhile, Barry up in the house, you know, having dreams and stuff about his baby. Sharon trying to calm him down. Baby, baby, just lay there. Let's stay there. And I was like, Sharon, just let him go get um his baby. That's all he needs to do at this point. You know, I feel some type of way about Sharon. I know she's trying to look out for him, but something about her just doesn't sit quite well with me at this moment. You know, we got the Kareem situation and then we got the way that she's stopping him from you know trying to look for his daughter like girl if it was me if it was me i'm up every waking moment that i got until i get my child back i'm gonna be out there searching ain't no fucking sleep if i pass the fuck out bitch i pass the fuck out and when i get some nutrients y'all put some little put a drip on my ass bitch i'm going out there okay wake my ass up you up? I'm up. Let's go back to the pavement. Okay, bitch, that's what I'm doing. Every waking moment, okay? But I was with her when she said, at least go take a goddamn shower. Because I was looking at him. He do look like he probably busty as shit. Okay? But then, you know, he was like, he got to go get her dog. He got to go get her dog. It's in her car, in his car. Because it smells like her. And I was sitting here like, oh, you know? And so he goes out there trying to um find his car keys. Well, he go outside trying to find his car. His car is not there. And mama like, listen, your daddy took it, okay? Your daddy come in. He was like, listen, I took the car. Don't even worry about no damn doll and all that shit. And I said, uh-oh. Here we go with this mess. Um, Meanwhile, we're going to put a pause in that. <laughs> We gonna put a pause in that. I said, Barry, your daddy is trying to look out for your ass, and your daddy then lost his job behind your ass. To be quite honest, okay, you fucking around with this little girl, which you really wasn't doing. Which, to be quite honest, you should have just said, "Fuck that bitch" and left. All right, and I ain't gonna be bothered with that. But no, we get to Lily. We ain't seen Lily in the past couple of episodes, right? Lily, you know, you got your nerves to have an attitude with your husband at this point, okay? And I understand you all up in your feelings because, um, what's his name? It's not Barry. God damn it, what Bubba? Nope, that ain't it. He do look like a Bubba, though. What is his name? It started with a B. Girl, Chocolate Thunder, okay? We just gonna call him Chocolate Thunder. Girl, Chocolate Thunder eyebrows was like, you know, somebody put a hit out on you, basically. They they set your ass up. And maybe you did some shit um, that you didn't know of. Bobby, there you go. Maybe you did some shit that you didn't know of or whatever, but you need to think back in your focus and, um, you know, in your mind's eye and think and see, did you do something? Like, girl, because somebody is uh, after your ass. So she's staring at her husband. He, she, he, mind you, she fully dressed. I said, damn, girl, if it's 8 o'clock in the morning, what time you wake up? 
And what time did you get dressed? Because, um, baby, I don't wake up. Only on Fridays. I wake up at 7.30, okay? Um, other than that, I wake up 8.30, okay? I ain't got to go to work that early. You know what I'm saying? I said, damn, bitch, where you going? She was like, girl, <laughs> he's like, what time is it? She said, it's almost 8 o'clock. And I was like, why are you standing at him like that? You look like you about to shank him or something. You about to smother him with a pillow? What is going on, Lily? I'm not, I'm not understanding this little, you know, animosity that's happening. Did you find out some stuff about him and Kyle? Girl, we found out some stuff about him and Kyle up in this episode, too. I was like, wait a minute. I got questions, but no, you know, she, she, she in her feelings. Okay. Because now she trying to understand who the fuck is coming after me. Okay. Did I do something, bitch? Did you send somebody after me? Okay. I'm going to go fuck around with the first lady and get her some new clothes and all that shit or whatever. But I need to know, did you send somebody after me or whatever? You know, because I am a woman. Okay. I am a human being at the same time and I do have feelings. Okay. And if, if I never went to war. You know what I'm saying? I never went to war. I can't suppress those feelings and all that shit. I have concern with somebody that I fucking shot. I need to know what's going on with them. Okay. I said, why girl? Let that shit go. You, 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 you bringing too much attention to yourself. She was like, bitch, what the fuck happened to him? It was like, let me tell you something. Barry went to the goddamn hospital. Bobby went to the damn hospital, okay? We rested his ass, and he over there in Cuba. I said, go tell him, obey. Y'all still got that open? I said, now see, Donald, either you really don't know what's going on, but bitch, you're lying, or you're lying, okay? Because Bobby ain't nowhere in no Cuba, okay? Bobby's still right there on your um, doorstep, and you just don't see him, okay? He blending in with the night, girl. Anyway, um... You know, so she pissed off at him. I said, Lily, I'm going to ask you to let this go because I really don't feel like your husband got anything to do with it, which truth be told, he don't. So let this go. The aggression is going somewhere else. Girl, back at the White House, Victoria is downstairs trying to make herself some coffee, okay? And Priscilla come down and was like, I can do that for you, ma'am. If I wanted you to do it, I would arrange your ass. I said, hold up. Hold up. It's too early in the morning for all that animosity, uh, Victoria. Priscilla didn't whoop your ass last night, okay? Priscilla didn't argue with you, you know, and then go into this whole thing, you know, Priscilla trying to ask and be nice, you know, girl, do you want some breakfast, ma'am, okay? Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, ma'am, and I, and see, let me tell you something, to be quite honest, that no, ma'am, yes, ma'am shit would have got on my nerves too, but I would never be rude as Victoria do. Victoria has a big ass boulder on her um, shoulders, it ain't no chip, bitch, it's a big ass goddamn mountain on her goddamn shoulder, back, and all of that shit, because I just don't understand, girl, I just don't understand, you are evil for no fucking reason, girl, you don't take your problems out on other people that's trying to be nice to you, then gonna call them, oh, you motherfucker, so damn fake, okay, all this shit or whatever, woo, 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 okay, and let me ask you something about the staff, okay, the junior staff left, but then the senior staff came in she said girl when it's some situation that's going on like that like happened last night we bring in the more senior staff so that everything could be contained okay she was like so nobody um nobody said anything nobody talking she was like girl ain't nobody talking shit about y'all okay we ain't whispering amongst each other we saw what went down and it is what it is it's gonna stay here you know most of us maybe majority of us we like our job okay we like being up in here that's why we act the way that we act and then she kind of softened up a little bit and she was like you know what <laughs> priscilla said you know what you need to do to be quite honest to smooth over the situation you need to present a united front in front of the staff and she was like okay yeah you kind of right or whatever but girl let me tell you something <laughs> You know about that coffee? I was just playing. I was just playing. I don't even know how to work the machine, girl. Can you come over here and help me? I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Victoria? Okay. You know, we, we, um, we getting somewhere. Then a lady come downstairs, little secretary or whatever. She was like, your daddy on the phone. And the way her body tensed up, I said, ooh, ooh, daddy is a sore spot. Okay. She was like, oh. I'll take it in the bathroom. Okay, so they go upstairs. Hunter come out the bathroom, and then um they on the phone with Daddy. Daddy is basically running the fucking show. So the White House 
and all that shit is not being ran by a hunter. It is being ran by a black man behind the scene. He the one that put them there. They got, I don't know what they did. I said, this some scandal type shit. I don't know what they did to get them up in there. But basically, they got to come through with what they uh, promised to them to do. Okay? Because we saw later when Donald was trying to get him um, situated on some of the stuff that he needed to do on the agenda. Um that he really wasn't paying attention to. He gave him a folder full of cabinet mem cabinet members that he should appoint um, to be a part of his cabinet that his father-in-law, Victoria's daddy, um, you know, gave him. And, of course, he, being an asshole that he is, you know, he ripped the paper up. But Victoria, that phone call kind of shook Victoria, okay? It's like, she ain't scared of Hunter. She ain't scared of nobody. But when daddy say jump, it's yes, sir, daddy, how high? That's what it is, okay? I saw all of that tension up in there when she was talking to him. And then he was like, you know, it's such a shame what happened with that uh, little situation with your daughter. You know, how it came to a tragic end, her little friend. I said, wait a minute. So the daddy is, got, don't let me, let me find out Cal is working for the goddamn daddy, okay? Because how else did he know about that? Now, they sitting there trying to figure out if anybody's uh, leaking the information and all this stuff or whatever. I was like, ain't nobody saying shit. She was like, if you wouldn't be bringing all your goddamn whores up in this White House, wouldn't be on the um, lookout for nothing or whatever. Okay, cool. You got me on that. I was like, bitch, because I would never fuck your ass. Not with that two-piece, uh, two-inch dick. I don't want that. You spreading it all everywhere else, okay? You ain't... You ain't enough for me. I'm sitting here like, okay, we're not going to get into no argument like this no more. No, we're not. Um, Veron uh, Victoria keep on saying we need to show a united front to the staff, okay? Make it seem like we love each other and all this shit. He was like, bitch, why? I hate you, bitch. She was like, bitch, I hate you too. I'm sitting here like, God damn, God damn, can we, um... Can we stop this? Can we stop this? Can we have a loving moment for once, okay? And um, she he was like... Veronica, uh, Veronica, I want to keep calling her Veronica because they both evil as shit, okay? Victoria was like, girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> All we got to do is ride it out for four more years, okay? Four more fucking years. You know, we got millions of money to be made. He was like, it ain't always about the money. Bitch, Victoria said it's always about the goddamn money. Here go Hunter. Eight years in the governor mansion. Two years, uh, four years as the mayor. Why do we have to keep on doing this? We don't love each other. You hate me. I hate you. Bitch, I said, because you, uh, I said, suck it up at this point. You should have thought about that before. You, you Look who you married to, okay? You got in bed with these people and you got to pay due on whatever it is that they uh put put up for you, okay? Whatever you promise, you got to make due on that promise, okay? And that's basically what Victoria was saying. You know, they both do. I said, uh. So they're going to show the uh, United Front or whatever for them. And I said, this is a mess. Y'all always got somebody doing something behind the scenes. It's never that straightforward. <laughs> it's never really that straightforward about what's going on. Okay. Um, girl, at one point, <laughs> Barry got slapped by Nancy. Girl, Barry be popping off at the mouth and Nancy be popping his ass in the mouth. Girl, I ain't even mad at her. But, um... While they was at the White House, Donald talking with the president, going through, trying to go through the agenda. He was asking him, did you do that shit about Max, okay? I feel so sorry for Max. Max is just, Max, he's just trying to do his job. Like, he's just trying to go there, go to sleep, go home, and be with his wife, come back to work, and do what he has to do. Do it all over again, okay? He ain't come there for all this damn drama. You know, he got to get off the duty and, um, you know... Put Cal on duty, okay? Now, let me tell you something about Cal. Because Max is over. Once Donald told him that he wasn't going to be on the um duty no more, he was just he was just over. He already knew what it was. He told Cal to go meet him up in his um room, okay, his, uh, his office. Cal, let me tell you something. You need some help, okay? Now, see, um... <laughs> They had a little conversation about what was going on. And he was like, how you know about this? How you know about that? And who you working for? Because you out here just doing this and doing that. Now, he didn't show him a picture or a video of what he was out there doing at the Unlove um, Projects, killing everybody or whatever. So, he trying to figure out what is his agenda and all that stuff. Next thing you know, he was like, I want to be with you. Okay, that's what I want to do. Take a shower with you. Be there with you. And he was like, boy, if you don't stop playing. He was like, get the fuck away from me. He was like, listen. 
again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I fucked around with that dude. It was a one-time thing. But you ain't had to give me back by going ahead and marrying that bitch. I said, hold up. Hold up. So either Cal and um goddamn Donald was a thing before he got with Lizzie. Okay, and then they, you know, he did what he did and he got with Lizzie and went on ahead and married him out of spite. Or Donald was dating Lizzie, which I'm thinking this is what happened, and using Lizzie as his beard. Okay, because you know, we can't be gay and we can't be bisexual. You know, using Lizzie as his beard and then Cal broke his heart and he said, fuck you and went on ahead and married Lizzie. I said, what the hell is going on? Now I see why Kyle just so fucked up because this been going on for some years. Okay. Hmm. Meanwhile, Priscilla up there talking to Jason, trying to make sure everything is cool with him, you know, and his fool. He trying to figure out if everything okay with his sister. And he asking her all these personal questions. Do you want to have kids and all this shit? I said, Priscilla, you telling him you want a girl and a boy and all that. And, and, and he like, just like my mom and my dad. I said, no, sweetie. We want same kids, okay? We don't want shit like that. You know, mm -mm. I said, Priscilla, walk away. Please walk away. Meanwhile, the physician that's on staff, she trying to um tell Victoria about the painkillers that she needs to put her daughter on, you know, for her injuries and all this stuff. You know, me and, and Victoria ain't really here for it. Jason then went up in the goddamn room, all up there. Oh, my God. So I heard that you jumped out the car while I was running and you got bruises. Can I see them? Let me see him. And I said, sir, you don't see how black and blue her goddamn knees are? Those bruises right there. What other bruises are you trying to look at? You want her to take her shirt off so she can show you your bruises? You are a fucking creep and a pervert just like she said. I said, that boy needs help. This whole family needs help. Psychological, psychotherapist and all that shit. God damn. Okay, the whole family in distress, bitch. You know, and Victoria come up in now. Telling her about, you know, the pain medicine and everything and how she not going to give it to her. And she was like, you talking about some you up in pain. I want you to know what real pain is. I said, girl, what are you about to do? You about to hit her again or something like that? What's happening? Girl, she took that camera on the phone and showed her a video of her man getting killed. So he's dead. I said, you are cold blooded bitch she said now that's pain i said you know what i'm done with victoria i am done with this bitch right about now you what is happening <laughs> what is happening on this show next thing you know you got um all the staff members are together in the oval office and um you know they're trying to come together as a united front and show everybody that they're good and trying to make it seem like, you know, I know we got caught up and we was drunk and which really happens, okay? But we truly do love each other and, you know, um, we just want everything to be okay. You know, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, okay, cool. And then um, Priscilla was like, Priscilla was the only one that stepped up. Now, see, um, Dino... I don't understand what was going on with you because you kept on putting off the fact that you needed to get Richard back up in there. You kept putting that off. It took for Priscilla to bring his name up in this meeting and had this meeting not happen, he, Richard wouldn't get his job back. They came together as a united front, the staff, and said, yes, we want Richard back. So it was like, we're going to get on it. I said, oh, now you're going to get on it. So when the staff leave out, <laughs> it was like, let go my fucking hand. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I said, y'all need to fucking quit, okay? Just stop the bullshit, you know? So, of course, she walks out back over there. The episode ends at Barry's mama house. Richard is down there talking to... Richard and Nancy is down there talking to um, Tab, okay? Trying to get some information about where the kid at. She talked about some, listen, the most high gonna kill my ass, okay? So, uh, anybody that leave the little place, the Radadushkis, they gonna die. That's what happens, all right? And was like, no, you're not gonna die. Just tell me where it is. She giving out all these places where the kids might be. She showing them a picture of her own daughter. And then she was like, can you record me? And it was like, my name is Tally something something Davidson, okay? And my daughter name is Tavia Davidson, okay? And, um... I want, this is my last will and testament. I want my daughter to be left, my kids to be left with, um, <clears throat> what's her name? Div uh, uh, Richard and Nancy. What's your last name? And he will, he stopped recording like, um, what you talking about? You not going to die. And she was like, yes, 
Yes, I am. He was like, thank you so much for your hospitality. And thank you so much for the last meal that you gave me. It was really good. And I'm sorry for the mess that you're going to have to clean up. Bitch, this bitch pulled a gun out and, and, and shot herself in his mouth. I said, can we get a warning? There might be some goddamn graphic <laughs> stuff. Because I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it. I said, oh my God, she just blew her head out. Like, come on, come on. Anyway, that was the oval. I can't wait for the season, mid-season finale, because Victoria's mama pop up, you know, and it's just going to be a whole bunch of mess, okay? Y'all tell me how y'all feel, and I will see you guys later. Peace.